Welcome to World Box. On my last video, someone posted a really good idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make a tower defense game in World Box. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pathway. Let's make an exit first. So this is where they're trying to get to. That's where we lose. No, no, don't touch me there. This is my no, no square. But the pathway to get there, you know, it might actually be easier to go like this. Yeah, that's much easier. Okay, so the pathway. The tower defense enemy pathway is gonna go is that wide enough. That's wide enough. Have it kind of curve around, go around like this, maybe like a thing like that. I don't wanna make it too long. I think that's probably fine, honestly. And then yeah, this will be the starting point right there. If you didn't watch my last video, this might be uh, something I should be explaining. Um, so we're putting these here, and then we're gonna put zombie creatures of which we have all of them at our disposal and they walk from wherever they are to these golden brains. So we have them basically behaving like monsters in a tower defense game, and we will be setting up areas for towers. So we can put someone there with a bow, and they will shoot in their range as the monsters go around them, just like a tower defense game. Okay, that looks pretty good for towers. What is that? That's 10 total. Now here's where things get a little bit trickier. So I'm thinking we'll do 10 different waves. We'll put enemies of varying difficulties into these nine pockets. But at the end, the big wave. Okay, so that'll be wave 10. This will just be kind of like the lobby where they all come through. So I want to come up with some basic like rules, I guess, that we have to follow where we can't just have infinite of everything. So let's make a... I really wish there was a square between this tiny little size and this really big size. So let's see, we got 10 towers, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do humans. Thanks to our helpful mods, we can add weapons to them across the board. So let's give ourselves two archers with level 1 bows. Let's give ourselves four archers, that's going to be the majority of what we do. Uh, let's give ourselves... This, I'm worried about them blowing themselves up, so we're probably gonna avoid that one. Let's do two ice staffs for slowdown. Let's do two druid staffs for just damage. Necromancer staff? Why not? We'll try it. Um, we gave them all the level one tier, but as the game goes on, we will be allowed to upgrade them. In addition to that, we're gonna make a little pocket of things we can spawn in. So these will be things we can drop in all at once. Or I guess we could do it gradually if we wanted to, but these are gonna be people on the ground. So let's start them with iron swords. Uh, we're gonna go no armor. There we go. So we got two squads we can drop in if we want to. And then let's give ourselves something big here. Why are we still here? Let's make like some heroes. I haven't played Kingdom Rush in so long, but like for whatever reason, that's the tower defense game that's kind of in my head right now. So let's make a couple heroes. You, bow, you, sword, you, spear, you, hammer okay so we can spawn these guys in one at a time um let's give them immune let's give all these guys immune too because i want them to die from fighting not from zombie infection that looks pretty good to me i wish there was more we could put but that's gonna just have to be how it is i think yeah if you could designate who would attack who i would say we could just go and use actual towers but that'll just blow up everything else okay let's do this thing the rules I'm thinking are basically we can do two things after each wave. We can either spawn someone new or upgrade an existing person. So like for instance, on wave number one, which we'll be making those waves in a second, my two actions are gonna be put a bow guy here and put a bow guy here. Actually, I'm gonna put a bow guy here, I think. So that's both of our actions. After the first wave, we will then be able to, you know, spawn two more guys of our choice or uh, upgrade an existing one. That being said, the wizards are way stronger, obviously, so uh, I might actually do it differently. Let's just go like that. So we got one archer and one uh, staff user. How come you don't want me, man? The last thing here is making the waves. We have nine waves and then the big boss wave. So we're gonna kind of zigzag up, that way we can just have them all go through their own path. So wave one, let's have it be an easy one. Let's do frogs, like that, easy. Wave two, we'll do maybe some crabs. Three will be the chicken wave, of course, with maybe a cow. Wave four is gonna have some rhinos, some sheep, some chickens, and a lot of snakes. I'm gonna try to ascend the difficulty gradually, but I'm also worried that <laughs> I'm either gonna way underestimate or way overestimate, so 
we're really just kind of hoping for the best here. So wave five is gonna be a bunch of bulls and maybe a few monkeys. I'm worried I'm making this too hard, but I'd rather it be too hard than too easy because we can just pause it and add, you know, upgrade our guys or whatever if it's really too hard. Wave eight is gonna be a billion foxes. Final wave. The rhinos I think are the toughest because they're actually pretty fast. We're gonna do a bunch of rhinos, a bunch of bears, a good amount of cats, good amount of monkeys. I want them to all be similar speeds too. Okay, yeah, that looks like, oh, that's absurd. We might just lose on that wave. But if we can make it to this wave and then die here, I'm cool with that. Let us begin. Wave number one, the frogs. Here they come. His accuracy is abysmal. <laughs> there you go. Eggs. okay, yeah, we're gonna need some help. No, don't let the frog get through. Can he shoot from that far? Nope. All right, well, we can't lose on wave one, so let's go ahead and <laughs> not let that happen. I wanted to be cheeky and put an archer in first, but they're so weak. So let's go ahead and do two things. From now on, upgrading items costs a half an action. So we can spend two on spawning two new people, or we could spend four on upgrading stuff, or, you know, one of these and two of these. So let's go ahead and get another staff in here. Here, I think. You know what? This is pretty lame of me, but let's make everyone giant. Because I just, I like to be able to see. That looks nice. So that's action number one. I think that we should upgrade the bow because I do want, let's upgrade it twice. Okay, wave number two. The cats are really fast, so let's see how they do. That's more like it. Take them down. Cool, and then here come the slow pokes. Nice, easy wave. I'm going to add a little bit to these next two waves to compensate for our new changes, because I know this isn't gonna get very far. Add some more chickens, add some more snakes. These later waves honestly look about right, but these first ones, uh, pretty weak. More snakes. I kind of want to put in one of our squads. I didn't think these guys were going to be that good. So let's go like that. Let's go. That might just be too easy. These guys might be way too strong. Let's get another archer in here. Maybe here to finish off any stragglers. And uh, let's go. Okay. We got the chicken army. Oh yeah. These guys go, are going way up there. <laughs> the chickens are on a mission though. Okay. These guys might be a little OP. I was picturing it like the temporary reinforcements. Oh shoot, scratch that, we're learning a lesson here. I think that because they're so strong, they should just be a one wave use only. But kind of like in uh, Kingdom Rush, where you can spawn in like the temporary warriors to like block the path for a little bit and then they go away after a certain amount of time. That's what those are, so we know that now because otherwise they're, they're just super strong. This is like, we'll save one of these for like the last wave, at least some of these guys. Okay, so we got Next wave, let's go ahead and get another, get the Necromancer in here. And then maybe we'll upgrade Ice Staff a little bit too. Let's upgrade it by one. Let's upgrade this guy's bow by one. And that will do it. Next wave, begin. We got some big ones in here. The snakes are pretty fast. These are all pretty fast. We should have saved our little soldiers for this wave. Come on, boys, hold them off. Oh shoot, they're making some, they're making some progress. Oh yeah, I'm glad we put this guy down here because otherwise we would have been in trouble. Nice. Okay. You are weak and your arrogance offends me. I kind of want to put the rest of the archers on the board, but we probably should get the wizards out first. Let's put one and then two. I think that's what I'm going to do for that wave. Okay, the waves are getting tough. We got a lot of buffaloes in here, a lot of beefy Guys, no pun intended. There we go. I like that it works just like a normal, like, slow ability in, like, a tower defense game. They are making some ground here. These guys have 200 health. This could be a loss, but we could use one of our reinforcements. I think we're gonna have to. Yep, we're gonna have to. Let's use a sword guy here. We're gonna use one of our heroes. Feels kind of bad, but you gotta do it. Just to block the way so that wizard guy can kind of hold him off. Oh, no. That's it. We gotta use another one. We're wasting two on the same wave. Ah, uh, should I use these guys? Let's grab two of them. Come on, stop them. Come on, boys. Okay, we did it. All right. Wave's over. You guys die. Whew. Okay, so we wasted a hero and two more of our regular soldiers. A little early to be doing that, but uh, that's what uh, we're figuring it out. The buffaloes have a lot of health. We are screwed on these last waves. Okay, alligators and rats with a few bears. 
Uh, let's get, let's take this a little more seriously because the difficulty is ramping up. Let's get this guy up here on the corner. Maybe upgrade you, 32 damage, 60 damage. Let's upgrade you to the max one. You are the one that will save us. Okay, let's begin. This is wave six. This wave honestly looks easier than the last one because the alligators are kind of slow, but they do have 200 health as well. Um, the bears are super fast. The rats pushing through, getting killed easy. Okay, yeah, this guy is strong now. Look at him, he's like one-shotting everyone. Good work, easy wave, I'm glad. We needed a little boost there. Okay, let's get the rest of our people on the board. Let's put uh, Archer in the back, Archer in the front, and that's gonna be it, I think. We can upgrade them maybe next time. Wolves, penguins, and hyenas, looks like. The fast wave. Oh my gosh, very fast. Hold, brothers, hold! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Don't make me use my heroes. Oh no, they got this, come on. I forgot we got an ice staff guy down here too. Stop them. Okay. Whew. Stop him. All right. Wave seven completed. Okay, so we don't have any more people to spawn, so we can just upgrade now. Um, I think since we have four upgrade actions, I think I'm going to go one, two, three, because the ice staff is really strong. And then I think I'm going to upgrade our bow guy for just raw damage, although they really don't do that much damage. Let's upgrade the staff by one. I'm a little worried because that wave was pretty tough and this wave honestly looks harder because <laughs> the foxes are so fast. We still got our heroes. We got four heroes and three soldiers left, so. Oh no, <laughs> we're screwed. We're so screwed. This guy does splash damage though. Uh, where's our other one? Okay, over here. This is a good spot for him. Oh man, they've only killed like a third of them. Get it going. I need you to fight like this is the last day you're gonna live because it might be. We're gonna have to. Question is, do we drop all three of them in there? Do we drop one of these guys in there? How many waves we got left? We only have two more waves left, so I think we should use one of these guys just to kind of, oops, to slow it down. Because these guys can do good damage, but they just... What? What? How did you get in there? Oh, come on. <laughs> come on! I'm not going to count that. That was dumb. He stepped out of the pathway. Okay. We'll call that a win. I know we're really bending the rules, but this is for entertainment purposes, right? Okay, so we used one of our heroes. We still have all this left. We're actually doing okay. We get to upgrade four things. Let's upgrade the bows once each. Although the bows are super weak compared to the staves. The necromancer staff doesn't really do that much. So let's upgrade it by one here and druid by one here because it's the splash damage that we really need. Boom. Okay. That's our four upgrades. Boom, this is gonna be it. <laughs> We're gonna have to use some stuff here. But we need to not because we need as much as we can for the next wave. The next wave is gonna kill us. We might wanna rearrange our towers too because I feel like I want a wizard here. We might have to relocate. Actually, this is fine. They're not very fast. No, oh, this is an easy wave. It's the speed. If they're moving so quick that towers miss a lot more too. Okay, there we go, easy wave. I think I'm gonna relocate this guy uh, the druids are both in a good spot. Let's put this guy here because this is a really good spot where he gets to shoot them all the way around And this the archers just they really are just extra damage <laughs> They really don't hold up so they get the worst spots you can tell I put them all in really bad spots So we have all these to use we got four actions for upgrading I already upgraded that guy since you're located. Let's go one two Let's go one, two. Max out the druid and the necromancer. This is it, boys. This is for all the marbles. I made this wave really hard because I knew that I was gonna save a bunch of stuff for the end. Let's see if we can, <laughs> let's see if we can do this. Put our regular troops right up front. Let's at least put the archer in now because I want them to be helping for this first bit. Okay, and then in reserve, we have a spear and a hammer person left over. Uh, which we will put in as soon as we get a read for just how bad, oh god, just how bad this is going to be. We got the fast ones up front, foxes and wolves. They just whacked all of our soldiers off of the arena. Okay, they're going to get mauled, but we're slowing them down. Yikes. Nope, this is not happening. Okay, we need everything we got right now. Let's put this one here. Hammer guy. Oh man, dude. Let's put him here because I want them to be delayed. Now let's put him here. He's just going to get mauled, but I think if they can give these three guys time to shoot. <sighs> yep, 
Yep, it, it made him go backwards for a bit. Did some damage. Okay, they're moving again. That was actually really effective. We took like half of them out right there. Yeah, we got this. Come on, boys. Okay, unfortunately, they passed all of our big damage doers, except for this guy. Well, the bows do really good range. Okay, maybe I was too harsh on them. Nice. Okay, that was it. We did it, technically speaking. But I think we should do one more super wave. How do you think they do against a dragon? Let's put a dragon on this next wave. It might just kill the towers, but let's do it. Let's do zombie cows. The buffaloes and the bears are so fast for how much health they have. But I'm impressed by how well they handled that last wave, honestly. That was not what I was expecting to happen, especially with our soldier running off like that. This is going to be too much, I have a feeling. I know I said that about the last time, but this time for real. This is so many big, fast guys. The dragon's going to murder them all. Instantly killed our staff guy, but then got killed. We needed the staff guy. That's like our best guy. Holy smokes. Oh, no. Oh, we haven't even put a dent in them yet. Do some work, boy. Do some serious work. This is it. Our little wood bow guy down here. Yeah, we're screwed. We're so screwed. Way too many. I don't think we would have won it with the ice staff guy left, but um, he definitely was our strongest guy and some of our best placement too. Shucks, well that's GG. Honestly, we just, we technically won all the waves I did initially, so I'm I'm proud of us. But, you know, we just had to push the limits a little bit. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was super cool. I love this idea. Uh, big thanks to the guy whose idea this was. Having the zombies actually go a path to get to the brains opens up all sorts of, like, tower defense potential. So there could be some more rules we could add in. We could maybe add in some powers we can use. Maybe put in, like, explosive. Maybe make a better pathway because you could go forever with this thing this is such a a big opening idea so anyway thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time